Hello. Hello, Jubilee Church kids. How's everybody doing? We are here for another uh, installment, another episode of our uh, Children's Church uh, today. But I am so sorry to let you know Mr. John can't be here uh, today. So we're just going to uh, move on uh, with our lesson. And oh, I hear a knock. Is there, did you hear a knock? Hello, hello, who is it? My name is Inspector LaRose. Oh, Inspector LaRose, and Ma where are you from? I am from Scotland Yard. You are? Yes. Oh, I'm so glad that you came to be our special guest today at our Jubilee Church uh, video lesson today. So why, why have you come? I have come to help you seek the Lord. Yes, yes, because today... We want to talk about how we can know God, how we can know the Father. Yes. And we've talked about these before, but, you know, faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing, hearing yes. by the word of God. So how can you help us? What's one one major thing you can uh, tell us in all your detective work? How is the best way we can uh, seek the Lord? How is the best way we can know the Lord? Well, if you don't mind me saying, Miss Lada, would you mind if I start us with it's just a short prayer? Oh, yes. Let you know our prayer. Yes. All the way from Scotland. And let me see if I can see all you kids out there. I, I think I see all of you out there. I do too. That is fantastic. It's a good it's thing I brought my magnifying glass. Oh, yeah. But let's just pray quick. We just thank you, God, that you're God who's more than enough. He's the Jehovah Magnificent Shaman who's with us wherever we go. We just thank you for showing us how to seek you, Lord, so we can have every good thing on this earth, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, let's jump in. Yeah, so tell us, what's the what, what's where should we start? How do we start? You know, the first place to start to see God, there is a special book. Oh, really? Yeah. And what's the name of this book? They call this book the Bible. Oh, yeah. We all have Bibles. Everybody got your Bibles ready? They got Bibles, too? Yes. All right. So do you have a special verse that you would like to read to I us? have a, one of my favorite verses. Did you, you brought your Scottish Bible? I did. All right. Well, where's the, where's the scripture? It's in the Old Testament. Old Testament. Front of the ba Bible or the back of the Bible? Well, that's the front all of right. the Bible. Yes, yeah, so and we say it every week, so everyone should know. Psalm. Psalm 34, verse 10. And says, what does that say? It says, those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. So raise your hand if you want good things. I want good yeah. things. Yeah. Yes. So this says you would not lack any good thing. So healing is a good thing. It so is a good you thing. You won't lack healing. Especially if you're hurting. Yes. If you know the Lord, you won't. Your prayers won't go and answer. That yeah. would be lacking something. That's right. You uh, wouldn't be lacking for good grades. In school. That's right. Is that right? That's right. It's yes. a good thing to have good grades. Yeah, hopefully everyone, uh, even though school was out for several months, you still have good grades. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yes. So we need to seek the Lord with all our heart, not just half of our heart. Amen. Well, I have a scripture to sh share, uh, Inspector LaRose. Oh, you have a scripture too? I do. It's in Jeremiah, oh, which wow. is in the Old, Old Testament. Old Testament, yes. And um, so... We always talk about Jeremiah 29 11, which is very good because God does have a plan for our life. Yeah. But Jeremiah 29 13 says, and you shall seek me and find me. This is God telling it to us uh, when you shall search for me with all of your heart. Searching with all of your heart. Yeah. So and then it says, and I will be found by you. So when we seek him, we'll find him. Amen. Amen. So it's not just like a uh, you know, something we'll never attain. He wants he wants to be found. The Bible says that the that the Lord he is uh, uh, going to and fro throughout the wor world, seeking who he can show himself strong on on their behalf. Yeah. So he's even seeking us. He wants wow. us to know him. Amen. Yes. Yeah. Praise mm -hmm. God. Well, I have another scripture that I another can share. One. Yes. Out of your Bible? Out of my Bible. All my right. uh, Yes. So it's not a Scottish Bible, but it nonetheless it's is a Bible. Bible. It's important. Yes. Yes. So this um, scripture is uh, in Matthew 
33, excuse me, Matthew 6, 33, which it says, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added to you. Kind of like your scripture said, you will lack no good thing. Yes. So here in the New Testament, he's telling us to seek him first. So we seek him before we watch TV. We're seeking him before Mm. we watch videos. We're seeking him before anything we want to do. We're putting God first. So in other words, make God a priority. Yes, God a priority. And do you know, Inspector LaRose, when you, that word seek there, when we seek first the kingdom, Mm -hmm. that word seek means research. It does. Yeah, it means research. Research. Now everybody's in school. We probably had to do some kind of research paper. We had to look something up on the internet, do a paper, find some data, look at that until you really got to know your topic, right? I bet it means look under a microscope or a magnifying glass. Make things, there you are. Making things more clear. I've been looking for you and there you are. Yeah, so same way with God. We're going to research God. Yes. So we're not going to just do this for like uh, five minutes. We're going to do it for our whole life. Yes. We're going to do research him. We're going to find out from him. Just like when you meet a new friend, you want to find out what do they like. Yeah. and what's their favorite color and what kind of food do they like? You're doing research. Yeah, you're doing research on that. So we are, uh, it's like a part of our job. It's our lifestyle yeah. to yeah. do that. Amen. Amen. So, um, and I have another scripture. Another scripture? I do. Um, out of the Bible? Out of the Bible. This is from Matthew 7, verse 7. Matthew 7, verse 7. Okay. And it says, ask and it shall be given to you. Seek. You and you will find, die. knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asks receives, and he that seeks finds, and to him who knocks it shall be opened. So it's not like, well, maybe if you seek me, you'll find me. You know God, and sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. No, if he tells us in his word, we take him at his word. Amen? Amen. Is that why we read a chapter a day? It is. Yeah, what else can we do to... Well, number one is the Bible. Reading the Bible, number one. Yes, chapter a day, at least. Yes. Minimum. But there are other ways to hear the Word of God. Yes. And we do repeat those because it's part of our lifestyle. Yeah. doesn't matter if you're uh, uh, four or 104. That's right. Isn't there music out there that has the Word of God in it? It is. Worship music. Worship music. Some words where you're worshiping and praising the Lord. Yes, amen. Yeah. So every time we're worshiping and praising the Lord, we are seeking the Lord. Hallelujah. And as we seek the Lord, we shall not lack any good thing. Yes, we won't lack any good thing. We won't lack any um, anything that we're uh, believing God for. Yeah, exactly. Amen. And then there's other things. Your music. There. How about uh, videos on YouTube? How about Superbook? Yes, yeah, Superbook. Veggie Tales. Veggie Tales. Um, gospel bill gospel bill and there's other videos out there gospel that have, duck. yeah there's videos out there that you can watch and hear the word of god yes amen because you know god is our father we want to come to know god as our father and uh, because the father's heart his heart is to bless us so as we get to yeah. know him we know he's a good god we know he's not looking for us to make a mistake or we uh, not, he's not. Look, when I was growing up, I didn't hear those things about God. Yeah, I didn't hear that he was a loving God. I didn't hear that he was mad at me, but I kind of thought he was. Uh, he was a uh, was mad at me. I needed somebody to come along and tell me God yeah. loved me. God had a good plan for my life, and um, so that's he. He wants to bless his children. He wants to bless us. That's right. Praise the Lord. So he's uh. Looking, for, he's not looking to punish people. He doesn't sit on his throne with a big fly sweater and want to whack us every time we do something wrong. Yes, That's right. what forgiveness is That's all right. about. Amen. And there's one way I also want to add, Miss Lida. Yes. Besides praising the Lord and worshiping the Lord, yes. Reading his Bible and watching videos that has the Word of God in it. Hallelujah. We can also pray. Yes. Yes, praying in in English, our own language, or my language, the Scottish language, or even praying in the Holy Spirit. Yes, amen. We yeah. pray, in, uh, pray in tongues because 
that's kind of uh, one of the things, one of the gifts yeah. God gave us if we pray in tongues, we pray spirit to spirit. Well, I don't know what I'm saying, but God knows spirit to spirit. So we pray that perfect prayer that's right. um, to God Amen. when we pray in the spirit. So we should really be praying in the spirit every day. Right, we should. Yeah, especially your home now from yes. maybe all the studies online have stopped. Uh, maybe just make a summer uh, program, a summer new uh, challenge to pray in the Holy Holy Ghost just maybe five minutes a day. You'll be surprised. Five minutes could change your life. What you could do is just start off small. Still go 30 seconds, then the next day a minute. Yeah. Then the next day a minute and a half. And the next minute, the next day, go a little and more. keep going. And before you know it, you have five minutes. Yes. Wow. Yes. And just remember that uh, according to the uh, Bible, according to John 17, 23, God loves us as much as he loves Jesus. Sometimes it's hard to imagine that, that, but it is true. Yes. God loves us. He wants us to do good and to do well. And because of, of that, then we represent him well uh, in the world. You wouldn't want somebody to say, oh, that person's a Christian. Oh, I don't know about, I don't know about that. Yeah, we wouldn't want to be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and just remember, we always talk about that. He's Jehovah Shama. He's the omnipresent God. He's the, he's the God that's um uh all everywhere that's right yes amen jehovah uh, shaman the the lord is here is what it means in hebrew and then another uh redemptive name that we can remember is jehovah rapha rapha and that's a good one to remember all the time but especially now uh that people are quarantined is that jehovah rapha is the lord that healeth thee really so he's our healer we know that jehovah rapha means he's our healer of course, Mr. John, you'll meet him one day, yeah, I hope. I hope so, too. Yeah. But we like to always say Jehovah Rapha. He heals our kapha. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Jehovah Rapha. Amen. He heals our kapha. Yes. Amen. Yes. So praise God. So um, just a little review of some things that you said. Yes. We want to seek the Lord. And there's many different ways to seek the Lord. And we're going to seek him with all, all of, of our, our heart. heart. Yes. Yes. And to seek along with our heart, we're going to read our Bible. We're going to pray. Like when you go to bed, pray then and pray whenever you can think of it. Yeah. Hallelujah. And you can also watch videos that has the word of God in it. And see, you can sing along with songs that has the word of God in it. Yes. These are all many different ways to seek the Lord. And as we seek the Lord, the Lord will cause every good thing to come to us. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we can be... Uh, what's the Bible say about uh, uh, that people will see our, our our good works and then God will be glorified. So That's it's not right. like, oh, I'm doing so good. I'm doing all this good stuff. No, I'm just doing it whether anyone's looking or not. And um, then, but people will see that and God will be glorified. We give the glory to God. Amen. He gives us that ability to do that. Amen. Amen. I was just reading in a devotion this morning about um, uh, Kenneth Copeland and maybe some of you know him where he was talking about the Lord was teaching him to just have a conversation with him all the time during the day. And the Lord told him, just cut out the these and thous and talk to me like I'm your friend. And so they do that. discuss everything. Oh, what are we going to do about this? How what? How is this uh, going to work? Or you know, all that. Thank thank you for doing that. I do that a lot with the you know if you're getting a nice green light or something. Yeah. But, you know, just really make a practice of doing it all the time. Amen. Amen. Yes. Well, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We're so glad that you joined us today. We're so glad. Hopefully, everyone's doing well. And maybe next week we uh, just trust Mr. John will be back with us yes. uh, for that next episode. I hope he comes back, yes. Yes. And then, well, uh, maybe you can come and join us again for another time. In I Specular would love Road. to come back. Yes. yes. I know it's probably a long trip from Scotland to Omaha, but uh, uh, we're glad you made the trip. So would you like to close us in prayer today? Let me pray. Yes. So thank you, God. We just thank you. We are going to seek you, God. We're going to seek you by reading our Bible. We're going to seek you by praying in English and praying in the Holy Spirit with other tongues. We're going to seek you as we sing songs of praise to you, Lord. We're going to seek you in uh, watching videos that has the Word of God in it. Hallelujah. We're going to seek you, and there we shall thank you that you will not 
You will, you will cause every good thing to come to us. Good grades, good health. You will send every good thing to us. And we thank you for that in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So we'll see you next time. We love yes, you guys. We love you and Hope keep well. seeking the Lord. Yes, we ask God to bless you all, you and your families. So I'll see you next time. Amen. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.